Alright, good evening. This is Mr. Dan over here. So, just a very quick walkthrough. You can see this is like an advertisement, right? And if I, I can click on it. Now, this is false advertisement, obviously. I don't know if this exists, but I presume it's not true. There's nothing like this, but that's not what I'm trying to show you. Now, what I'm trying to show you is the fact that when I click here, sorry, when I click apply, it opens up the website. Now, for those of you who don't know, you probably have been running lots of advertisements on, you know, Facebook and, you know, all that to drive traffic to your website. When you do this, I want you to understand that the user agent for this particular Facebook is different. Now, um, within my period of trying to clone devices, I learned that Facebook has this kind of mini user agent. So this means that you're seeing this stuff right here. It has a different user agent other than the phone. If I head over to my mobile phone right now and I go to Google and I try to search for what my user agent is, it will tell me something different than what this YouTube, um, Facebook is telling me. Now, the problem is when you drive hundreds and thousands of, you know, um, advertisements to get people to your website, just like this person has, the person also has AdSense. I presume there's nothing like 700,000 euro over here given to anybody. He just wants people to come to his site so he can, you know, get paid from that lead. But I can tell you whoever has this website will have what we call ads limits. So why would they have ads limits? Now they will have ads limits because a huge number of traffic is coming in from a similar user agent. What is a similar user agent? Now, because of the way Facebook sandbox their um what is it called again browser if you don't know what a sandbox is when you use a normal browser to browse like to do certain things it's like your normal browser it keeps track of the cache the cookie and every single thing right so if you open this website on your normal browser and you come back tomorrow to open it there is basically a section like a live section so google is also able to track you like i can see advertisements here from from adsense so that means google will be able to track what you know i'm doing now where there is a problem is if i use facebook to open this website just like i did over here when i clicked apply now i'm opening this on a facebook sandbox the developers in the house understand what i mean by sandbox i'm opening this on a facebook sandbox so now this simply means that google will not be able to follow me up because google doesn't know if this is real right if this particular link was able to open my original google chrome which is the google chrome i have on my computer on my mobile phone this is my mobile phone if google was able to sorry if facebook was able to use my normal google chrome i would be able to open this website and anything i do on this website will be marked as legitimate could anybody tell me why why because i'm already logged into my google if i'm not logged into the google chrome on my phone i've been using it for quite some time so there are lots of fingerprints there are lots of cookies there are lots of cash there are lots of accommodated activities that you know um, uh, that, that, has already, that has already been installed on that particular browser so that means if i open a website like this that is adsense related just because i have previous activities it is validated however because facebook is sandbox as i'm seeing this over here if i close it and open it 30 minutes from now again Facebook will load it as a brand new page, right? Without any cookie. Now, this makes it quite a very big problem. Because if you run advertisement and you have 500,000 people, each of them are opening your website on a sandbox environment, which means Google cannot come back to ping. Now, that is why you have ads limits on Facebook or whatever platform that, you know, sandbox whenever you run advertisements. Now, if you have experienced this as a loader, you have a website, and you've been driving traffic through Facebook and you're seeing something like this, use the comment section to share your own experience on how you've been, you know, um, giving ads limit and all that just by running advertisement on Facebook.